Amelia Earhart's story has captivated curious minds since she first decided to make her doomed flight more than 80 years ago. She took a terrible risk by trying to fly all the way across the globe and she paid for it with her life. Ever since, people have been desperate to know what happened to Amelia Earhart. Let's find out in today's episode of by the time of her disappearance, Amelia Earhart was already a well-known and well-decorated pilot. In 1932, she became the first woman to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. Flying high from her airborne accomplishments, the plucky pilot decided to take on an even longer and more dangerous journey, a circumnavigation of the entire globe by plane. On June 1, 1937, Amelia Earhart took off from Miami, Florida alongside her navigator Fred Noonan in a twin-engine, all-metal airliner that Earhart nicknamed her Flying Laboratory. They stopped in several spots across South America, Africa, India, and Southeast Asia while making their way across the globe and reporting back to the U.S. media about what they saw along the way. Finally, after almost a month of air travel, the duo landed in New Guinea with over 22,000 miles flown and just 7,000 left to go over the Pacific Ocean back to California. Three days later, at the stroke of midnight, Earhart and Noonan took off, headed for a small island halfway to Hawaii called Howland Island, but they would never make it there alive. Just five hours after taking off, a chaotic search and rescue effort was underway. The U.S. Navy and Coast Guard launched their biggest and by far most expensive air and sea search ever in American history to find the famed pilot. The search lasted 17 days, and when it failed to find any trace, Earhart's husband financed his own search party to continue looking, but he too came up empty-handed. The U.S. government legally declared Earhart dead 18 months later on January 5, 1939 but the mystery around her disappearance has never been fully put to rest. The first and most popular theory is also the official finding from the government. They concluded that the two experienced pilots got lost, ran out of fuel, crashed into the ocean, and sank. Other theories are more salacious, though they don't have much evidence to back them up. For instance, there's a theory that Earhart was actually a US spy who was sent to spy on islands controlled by Japan, and may have even been captured doing so. Others go the opposite direction, and say Earhart actually returned home safely, changed her name, and lived a nice long life out of the spotlight. But there's little to no evidence supporting either theory, so those are out. The last popular possibility is that our doomed duo crash-landed on a tiny deserted island known as Nikumaruro. Since 1989, a group of experts have been combing that island for clues and have made some compelling discoveries. Improvised tools, shoes, and pieces of wreckage that match Earhart's lost plane. So, did Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan manage to crash land on a remote island like castaways, building makeshift tools to survive? Every year we get closer to finding answers, but the truth is, we'll never know for certain exactly what happened to Amelia Earhart's fatal flight. And now you know a little bit more about Amelia Earhart circumnavigating the globe. Comment below with a mystery you'd like us to solve. And remember to subscribe for more episodes of Colossal Mysteries, only on DreamWorks TV.